I just want to take a look at lookups here. What I want to do first though is insert another field here. So you're getting the idea that this is actually easy to do. I'm just going to scroll up, insert a row here by right clicking, and let's give them a title. This is going to be Mr. Miss, Mrs. Ms. Doctor, etc. Now for that, it would be much better to have a drop down list there and you can actually select it from that list. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to click here on my data type and you'll see down here there is a lookup wizard. I'm just going to click on that and we get a couple of options. You could already have those titles stored in another table in which case you could get it to look up from a table or actually from a query. We don't have that so we're going to actually have to put that information in which is then going to be stored within this table. So I'm going to just choose that. I'm going to click on next. I'm actually going to show you in a moment how we do this by actually looking it up in a table as well. So here is how many columns do I want? One is fine. And now just click in here. I go Mr. Press the tab key or you can use the mouse to click on the next one down or the arrow keys. Miss, Mrs, Ms, Doctor. I'm going to put in Professor here as well. Sir and Lady. Okay, there can be more than that. But the great thing about this drop down box that we're going to have is it's actually called a combo box, which means you can add in things from the drop down list or you can actually choose to type it in. So once I've done that, and I can keep going down this list, adding more and more, I'm going to hit next. What label would I like for my lookup column? That's the label that appears at the top of the column. I'm going to leave it as title. You can see it's put that in there. I'm just going to click on finish. Access is full of all these little wizards. They're actually really, really handy. So I can now see down here in the field properties, there is a tab called lookup. If I click there, you'll see it actually has, it's only there's going to be a combo box. The value list is actually typed in. And you'll see here it's put in all that information that I just typed in. So I could amend it here if I want. It tells me how many columns I have. And if I just look down here, you'll see there's an option, limit to list. If I change that to yes, it means that I can only choose from one of those on that list. If not, I can choose something from this list or type in something else. So that's what limit to list does in addition to that. So let's just take a quick look at that working. If I hit save, go back to my view and if I click here you'll now see that I can just choose from that list. I could just start typing, it will take from that list. So if I was to start typing professor, I might just give Marvin a professorship, you'll see it automatically comes up on that list. But as I said, it doesn't actually have to be that. It could be prints, What's that? Let's just put him back to Mr. So you have the option to type it in, use it from the drop down list here. So that is how you do it if you don't have a table that already has those values in it.